Proverbs 10, 24. The fears of the wicked will be fulfilled, the hopes of the godly will be granted. When U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt was sworn in office in 1933, he stated that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself in his inauguration speech. Franklin Roosevelt became president at a difficult time in America's history, the Great Depression, had many Americans without jobs, and there was hardly any government help like what exists now, with programs like food stamps, unemployment checks, or even welfare. Now only the country's economy was depressed, but so were many Americans and people worldwide. President FDR was an educated man, his famous speech was inspired by a couple of other men's words of philosophy like Henry David Thoreau and Michel de Montaigne. Both Henry Thoreau and Michel de Montaigne had similar thoughts of fear, and their theory as the great fear is fear itself. One major fear of all life is the fear of death, all humans do their best to stay alive, and most animals will do their best from dying. No matter what a person believes or wants to believe in the spirit both human or animal no living is better than being dead. The Holy Bible teaches this and King Solomon, who wrote the proverb also said the same in the book of Ecclesiastes, saying the living while alive have hope, but the dead cause the dead to know nothing. Ecclesiastes 9, for for whoever is joined to all the living, there is hope, for better a live dog than a dead lion. 5 for the living know that they will die but the dead do not know anything, nor do they have a reward any longer, for their memory is forgotten. Henry Thoreau and Michel de Montaigne's theory where a person's life can be consumed by fear, especially the fear of dying, that they live their life trying to avoid it. Henry Thoreau writing said he moved to live in the middle of the woods, to build his own house, make his own garden, raise his family by his way, away from the watchful eyes of nosy neighbors. One of French philosopher Michel de Montaigne's essays was titled, That to study philosophy is to learn to die, but the main point of most of his essays is that the art of living is to understand death exists, so live every moment as if it is your last. All people have offered grace from God, but only those who accept it will be saved by it, eternal life is their reward. Dying is currently a part of life, cause sin exists, and believe what you want, but the living spirit knows life is much better. When an animal knows someone is trying to kill it, it will fight and struggle trying to stay alive. A human, a man or woman, and child when their life is threatened, will fight, go to the doctor, pay high medical bills, ask family, friends, church members, and even God, help them stay alive but all life even since Adam and Eve have died and we will die. Most atheists believe this current life is all we have, so live it to the fullest. I see Christian do the same. The Holy Bible says if you and I have the Spirit of God in us, there should be no spirit of fear, and that the gift of God is of sound mind and peace. 2 Timothy 1, 6 Therefore I remind you to stir up the gift of God which is in you through the laying on of my hands. 7 For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Proverbs chapter 10 separates the wise from the foolish, the godly from the wicked, a virtuous person obeys and trusts God and receives life, the folly disobey God and live by their own way and receive death. Which is your desire, God's wisdom, or self-foolishness, life or death? If you want wisdom to honor God, seek and ask for His wisdom, trust and obey that you will receive it. God bless you all, Jesus the Redeemer loves you and so do I, Samuel J. H. Ecclesiastes 7 15 I have seen everything during my lifetime of futility, there is a righteous person who perishes in his righteousness, and there is a wicked person who prolongs his life in his wickedness. 16 Do not be excessively righteous, and do not be overly wise. Why should you ruin yourself? 17 Do not be excessively wicked, and do not be foolish. Why should you die before your time? 18 It is good that you grasp one thing while not letting go of the other for one who fears God comes out with both of them.